Grace and peace, everyone. Grace and peace. Welcome to Truth Seekers with Randy McFoy. Uh, this is the channel where I help seekers of the truth find the truth in the word of God. Um, I didn't plan on coming on today, um, sharing a video today, but um, I'm frustrated. I'm not going to lie to you. I am very, very frustrated when it comes to not just the body of Christ, but the pastors, the preachers. Um, sometimes, you know, when I have some downtime, I will scroll through Instagram or Facebook. Um, I have a TikTok account, but I, I don't really have the app on my phone. Um, but when I'm scrolling, you know, I see these clips of pastors and preachers. And I'm just uh, I'm just discouraged um, what what is being put out. Um, there's a lot of false hope. And what I mean by false hope is this idea of this cons consistent reminder that God is about to do something great. Um, whether it's in a nation, um, whether it's in your local church, whether it's in your personal life, there's always this promise, this, I call it false hope, that God is about to do something great in your life or God is about to do something great in the church. Um, and that's, that's, that's really, that's really unfortunate. That's, that's, that's really unfortunate because the pastor is not called to do that. Also, we see this, uh, you know, this prophetic voice, these prophetic unction, these prophetic utterance and all those kind of things. Um, and for me, guys, uh, you know, as, as a, as a preacher of God's word, um, um, you know, it's 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 laziness because it's easy to do that, right? It's easy to do that. It's easy to give people false hope. It's easy to say the Lord spoke to me last night. The Lord said this, um, um, to me last night. The Lord spoke these words. The Lord said this. It's it's easy to do that. It's harder to study God's word and to explain God's word. It's easy to say, I have a prophetic voice. God spoke to me in a dream. I, had a, I took a nap, you know, after I ate my burger, um, after I ate my bowl of cereal, I took a nap and the Lord spoke to me. And this is what I have to say. It's easy to do that. But it's harder to take the text of scripture, study it, exegete it, explain it to the people. It's harder to do that. But that's the role of a pastor. That's the role of a preacher. Um, I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to look at uh, Ephesians chapter four. Um, uh, verse 11. I'm going to look at the, uh, the whole thing here. And it says, and he himself gave some to be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers for the equipping of the saints for the work of ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, till we all come to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, to a perfect man, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. So the apostle uh, is saying that these, this is the reason why he gave us church leaders. This is the reason why he gave us the pastor and the teachers. Why? for the equipping of the saints, for the work of ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, till we all come to the unity of the faith and the knowledge of the Son of God. God, teach them Christ. Teach them Christ, man. Let's teach them about Jesus. Teach them about the atonement. Teach them about the work on the cross. Teach them about justification um, by faith alone. Teach them about sanctification. Teach them Christ. Teach them about the forgiveness of sins, the kingdom of God. Teach them Christ. We don't have to give them false hope. We have, we have true hope in Christ. We don't have to go to the extra. God is about to do this great thing that, that, like, that has never done before. We don't have to do that, guys. Right? God has done the greatest thing that he can ever do by giving us his son.
by shedding the blood of his son, by giving us the Holy Spirit that indwells the believer. The believer have the power to fight sin. But we want more than that. We, we want more than that. I'm sorry if I'm getting excited, but it just frustrates me. I'm like, guys, are we reading the same Bible? Are we reading the same Bible? We got these prophetic voices and all these. God, listen, look at the text. It says the edifying of the body of Christ. So we all come to the unity of the faith and the knowledge of the son of God. We want people to know Christ. Not know what's going to happen in your future. Listen, we don't need Christianity to know what's going to happen in your future. Go to a fortune teller. Go there. But but over here in Christendom, in true biblical Christianity, we want to know Christ. We want to know Christ in true biblical Christianity. Right? We want that person to grow to a perfect man to the measure of, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. We want the fullness of Christ in our churches. And here's another verse. Uh, uh, 2 Timothy 3, 16. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness that the man of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. All scripture is given for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. All we need to give the guys is the scriptures. It's good enough. The scriptures is good enough. We don't need prophetic words. We don't need false hope. We don't need this exact, this, we don't need to pontificate. We don't need to exaggerate. We don't need to speculate. We don't need to guess what God. Listen, we have the scriptures. It's enough to teach them about Christ, to give them doctrine, to give them reproof, to give them correction, to give them instruction in righteousness. And then look, so they don't have chapter divisions in the original text. So this is the same thought. So Paul continues, says, I charge you. And on the basis of all scriptures, I charge you, therefore, before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who will judge the living and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom, preach the word. Pastors, that's all we have to do. I know it's hard. <laughs> Trust me, I know it's hard. I, I know it's hard to dig into the text, to look at commentary, to pray, to, uh, maybe to fast, to pray for the people, to pray over the text, to labor in the text, to, to, to go to the Greek, to go to the Hebrew, to go to the lexicon, to go to the concordance, to, 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 to see, look at the commentaries and see what the uh, 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 theologians have to say about this topic, to see if there's a debate, to see, I understand, but that's the call. That's the call. That's the call. So it, it just frustrated me today when I'm just seeing these 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 things, man. And it it's it's it, it's bothersome because you know I I speak to people that's been in the faith, they confess Christ for years, and they don't know the basics of Christianity, they don't know the basics. And and the Hebrew writer said. I, you need you should have been teachers by now, but I have to teach you the elementary thing. You still need to learn the elementary things. He rebuked them for not knowing the elementary things. And I'm seeing people that confess Christ for years, and you listen to them, and it's like, wow, okay, wow, these 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 pastors done messed you up. They messed you up, and I don't blame them to a, an extent because these pastors are giving them foolishness. Foolishness. Just preach the word, man. Just preach the word. Just preach the word. Please like, share, uh, subscribe, hit the bell notification, um, and pray for me, guys. It does frustrate me. It does frustrate me when I when I hear this stuff. When I hear these 
false hope and prophetic words and all this nonsense. It, it, it frustrates me. God bless.